Mark Oldman coming at you from Art Basel, Miami, specifically the Pulse Art Show, which has a great amount of integrity. And talking about artistic integrity, I think of Rush, who, as you might know, days away, we're days away from knowing whether they get inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, Honestly, and I think you might agree with me, uh, we don't need their induction to know how wonderful and legendary they are, how much integrity they have. In a way, it's a little bit like now inducting Grace Kelly into the Beauty Hall of Fame. You know, it's kind of obvious at this point, but we're all rooting for them nonetheless. And I'm going to give you more of my interview with Alex Lifeson who loves his wine, as does Getty Lee, and Alex was telling me a little bit about Madeira, Aquavit, and other really cool treasures from his cellar in Toronto. So watch ahead, and may Rush always be closer to my heart and to yours. This was the actual sauna in here. So we took out the, the unit, I think it was in this corner, and then I just kept the cedar, and then we put in the, the, uh, the racks in here. Okay. You can see I've got a bunch of my turleys here, and, and the uh, magnums over here. This is more of the California stuff in Italy here. This is all grange here that I've been drinking. Uh, I'm, all, I'm done with my 82s. I had a couple of cases of 82s that we've been drinking in 83s. So now everything's kind of like 85, 86, 88. My Gigals, the Lamoline, uh, 78 La Landon. Oh, uh, yes. First year of La Landon. I had two bottles of this only. I still have one. I don't know if I'm going to drink it. <laughs> Um, the La Moline, what's left, and then the La Turc, some Astralis. I don't know if you've had the Astralis. Uh, well, it's from Clarendon Hill. It's um, a Syrah that they do, a Shiraz. Right. And I think probably the Astralis and the Granger are, are the best of those wines. They're spectacular, um, juicy. And Delicious and huge and dark. That's an acuit. It's a Swedish acuit. <gasps> That's cool. They're all a little different, um, but a, bit, a lot of caraway, and uh, I mean, it's, made, it's what made the Vikings. Uh, Barrel laps. <laughs> it's, it's an eau de vie. It's like grappa or snaps. Or, in fact, they call it snaps in Scandinavia. But there's many different kinds. I mean, there's there's yet another one, huh. and there's thousands of different kinds of aquavit. And the, the Norwegians make it differently from the Swedes, who make it differently from the Danes, and and uh, you know, it's just like vodka, that kind of a thing. But it's actually quite uh, has a very interesting taste. Um, some dill, caraway, depends on what it is, uh, and it's typically served out of the freezer really, really cold with um, a glass of beer to chase it. Mm. It's quite pleasant, but you have to be careful you don't drink too much of it. <laughs> I got into Madeira a while ago, and there was uh, a bunch that was available that came from um, an English seller. In fact, there's some kind of cool things that I got. There's, there's this one, which is uh, the royal wedding of um, Charles and Diana in 1981. That was the Madeira that they served there. And then I think I've got another one here. A couple bottles of this, which is um, the investiture of uh, the, 
the Prince of Wales of, of July 1969. Just a couple of things that came with that whole, um, with that whole thing. That, so there's some nice uh, older Madeiras there, and I did have some nice old ports, but they get drunk quickly around here. <laughs> <laughs>